USS Daniel Inouye was christened on Saturday that's the 22nd of June by the namesake's widow Irene Inouye Daniel Inouye was a World War II hero who was born in Hawaii in 1924 and went on to become the first Japanese American to be elected to Congress he served in the US Senate for 50 years which makes him the second longest serving senator in history he died in 2012 after representing the people of Hawaii since the time it became the 50th State of the Union in 1962 Irene Inouye said I don't think Dan could have imagined how much of an impact that he would have in the 50 years that he served in the Senate Vice Admiral Johnny Wolf said during the ceremony today we look to the exceptional life of Senator Inouye for inspiration and guidance as we welcome a new ship and her crew to our great Navy fleet he added like its fellow Arleigh Burke class destroyers the USS Daniel Inouye will provide combatant commanders with the ability to conduct a range of missions the kind of flexibility that's increasingly critical in a world of rising maritime competition mr. wolf said during his speech that there's a photo of Inouye posing in front of his army combat team colors and the regimental motto go for broke the same motto will now be the motto of the USS Daniel Inouye Pearl Harbor will be the home port for the warship in this video defense updates analyzes how powerful is the latest Arleigh Burke class warship USS Daniel Inouye let's get into the details this video is sponsored by War Thunder the most comprehensive military vehicle online game for PC PlayStation 4 and Xbox one in which you can go to battle on more than 1200 playable aircraft tanks helicopters and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s the game has an amazing attention to detail and focuses on a realistic combat experience which is why knowing your vehicles and skill really makes a difference it's easy to get into and all you need to play is nothing more but your mouse and keyboard or controller immerse yourself in cross-platform combat with more than 20 million other military vehicle enthusiasts from all over the world download and play war thunder for free using the link in the description below and also get a free bonus tank or aircraft and three days of premium account USS Daniel Inouye DDG 118 is a United States Navy Arleigh Burke class guided missile destroyer the class is named for Admiral Arleigh Burke an American destroyer officer in World War II and later chief of naval operations the Arleigh Burke class ships became the US Navy's only active destroyers until the Zumwalt class became active in 2016 the Arleigh Burke class has the longest production run for any post-world war II US Navy surface combatant Arleigh Burke class warships are designed to be capable of performing multiple missions these can carry out anti-aircraft warfare AAW anti-submarine warfare ASW and anti-surface warfare ASUW USS Daniel Inouye was laid down on the 14th of May 2018 USS Daniel Inouye being an Arleigh Burke class destroyer is among the largest destroyers built in the United States it has an overall length of 155 meters and displacement of about 9200 tons the Arleigh Burke design incorporates several stealth configurations like angled rather than traditional vertical surfaces it makes these warships hard to target by anti-ship missile for propulsion it has four General Electric LM 2530 gas turbines generating 75 megawatts of power driving two shafts it has a speed of 30 plus knots that's 55 plus kilometers per hour at a range of 4,400 nautical miles or 8,100 kilometers the Arleigh Burke class of guided missile destroyer is the United States Navy's first class of destroyer to be built from the ground up to incorporate the Aegis combat system the Aegis ballistic missile defense system is designed by United States Department of Defense missile defense agency to protect against short and intermediate range ballistic missiles Aegis ballistic missile defense is devised to intercept ballistic missiles post boost phase and prior to re-entry 
it enables USS Daniel Inouye to shoot down enemy ballistic missiles by expanding the Aegis combat system with the addition of the ANSPY-1 radar and standard missiles. Aegis BMD-equipped vessels can transmit their target detection information to other systems and, if needed, engage potential threats using either the SM-2 or SM-3 missile. The centerpiece of the Aegis system is a very powerful, multi-purpose and SPY-1 radar. It's considered to be one of the most advanced naval radar that can automatically detect and track targets. The high power of 4 megawatts enables it to simultaneously track over 100 targets and guide missiles. Traditional search radars have rotating antennas that can track a target once during every 360-degree sweep. A separate tracking radar is required to guide missiles to a particular target. And SPY-1 radar is different. It incorporates two functions into a single, tightly integrated system. The four fixed arrays of SPY direct electromagnetic beams in all directions, concurrently and continuously. So the targets are tracked without interruption. The radar can be made to focus onto a single target when needed without blinding the warship against other threats. This enables the radar to create a very holistic view of the surrounding, providing an unprecedented situational awareness. USS Daniel Inouye will have ANSQS-53C sonar array. This is the latest variant of ANSQS-53 series sonar. The sonar set ANSQS-53 is a computer-controlled surface ship sonar that can work both in active and passive mode. It can provide precise information for anti-submarine warfare control and guidance. It has a hull-mounted transducer array that can be used to detect and track multiple targets simultaneously. The ANSQS-53C provides greater range and detection capability when compared to earlier versions. It also has only half the electronic components and weighs much less than its predecessors. USS Daniel Inouye will also have ANSQR-19 Tactical Towed Array Sonar TACTAS. The ANSQR-19 provides very long-range passive detection against enemy submarine. TACTAS deploys a long cable full of microphones that's towed about a mile behind the warship. These can detect the noise emitted from surface ships and submarines and track them. USS Daniel Inouye will be one of the most heavily armed destroyers in the world. It's designed to be a multi-weapons platform and is capable of dealing with various kind of threats. USS Daniel Inouye will have in total 96-cell Mark 41 Vertical Launch System VLS, divided into two blocks of 32 and 64 cells. These can be configured with the combination of the following weapons based on the mission. One, BGM-109 Tomahawk Cruise Missile for land attack. 2. RIM-66 Standard Missile 2 SM-2 Surface-to-Air Missile for Air Defense. 3. RIM-161 Standard Missile 3 SM-3 for Aegis Ballistic Missile Defense. 4. RUM-139 VL ASROC Missile for Anti-Submarine Roll. 5. Each VLS cell can also be quad-packed with RIM-162 Evolved Sea Sparrow Missiles ESSM. The ESSM is designed to protect ships from attacking missiles and aircraft. It also has two Mark 141 Harpoon Missile Launcher for anti-ship roll. It has a range of 70 to 150 miles depending on variant. The ship is equipped with two Mark 46 triple torpedo tubes. Mark 46 torpedoes are a potent weapon and can potentially cripple any ship with one strike. Two MH-60R Seahawk Lamps 3 helicopters are also present for anti-submarine warfare. Other than that, it's equipped with a long-range naval gun for close-range offense. It also has Phalanx Close-In Weapon System for last-ditch missile defense.
Arleigh Burke class warships have seen many incremental upgrades and have been able to include several key additions. USS Daniel Inouye is one of the vessels from Flight 2A Technology Insertion Block. The US currently has around 66 Arleigh Burke class destroyers and the number will swell as there is a plan to have around 82 of these. The important aspect is the Arleigh Burke class are versatile and since they are present in a decent number, they provide a lot of flexibility to the US Navy. This has great strategic significance as the US is now facing a resurgent Russia and a very assertive China. USS Daniel Inouye will certainly add to the American military's endeavor to maintain an edge against its rival. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.